Black Ops 6 High Rounds are still very broken. So when Black Ops 6 released, High Rounds were extremely, extremely easy. Not only was the round cap at 256, Manglers, Abominations, and whatever that tentacle monster from Terminus is, they could all drop kill streaks when you killed it with another kill streak. So if you have a mutant injection and you killed one of these boss zombies, you could get your mutant injection back and you wouldn't have to use salvage to make another one. However, they did change this very soon after launch and now the high round cap is 999. And if you kill a boss zombie with a score streak, you can no longer get a score streak from that boss zombie. However, an extremely unlikely perk has made high rounds so easy to the point where it's essentially cold war 2.0 with how easy some of these high rounds are terminus is still relatively hard but liberty falls is completely broken at the moment so i'm not sure originally who found this out i saw insomnia virus using this strategy and i'm not sure if he's the one who came up with it but he's the first one i saw and this perk that i was talking about being super unlikely is melee macchiato so even if you don't have any augments unlocked with melee macchiato as long as your knife is legendary rarity and it is triple packed with napalm burst on it for manglers and abominations, you can still run this strategy. All you need is ether shroud, and melee macchiato and what this allows you to do is use your jet gun basically until it runs out and then once your jet gun runs out you pop your ether shroud and you start going after manglers with your knife what this allows you to do is get score streaks from these bosses because you're not killing them with other score streaks you are killing them with your knife and the knife is super good against manglers like if you if you knife their uh if you knife their cannon like it's a two knife with melee macchiato and if you have the augment that allows you to melee kill zombies and refill your weapon what this allows you to do is use the jet gun blast and then as your jet gun is supposed to be recharging if you are knife killing zombies you are actually putting ammo back into your jet gun so you do not have to wait for that cooldown realistically Realistically, this is a lot easier to run with augments on, but you can still do it even without augments. That's how good the strategy is. And whenever you do end up getting trapped, you can just pop a mutant injection and go crazy. And then because you've been saving so much salvage throughout the game, you're gonna have you can easily just buy one back. And the way to build salvage is with the Mustang and Sally's, if you have a suppressor on it during insta kills and stuff, you are gonna be getting more salvage because that suppressor increases your salvage drops. And for some reason, just like revelations, bug rounds in this game are so long but that's the nice thing about the save and quit feature you can skip a bug rounds if once the bug round starts if you save and quit your game you have a five and six chance of not getting a bug round when you load back in and this is huge because as soon as you get past like 60 bug rounds start taking four to five minutes and then they just keep going up and up and up so being able to skip a bug rounds is it's it's broken i can't lie it's it's so broken there's also a couple other augments that are very very helpful for the strategy juggernaut increased health which puts your health from 250 to 300 armor damage negation which basically your armor just lasts longer and zombies don't do as much damage to you speed colas speed colas augments not only allow your jet gun to essentially recharge faster but it, you can also charge your field upgrade faster ether shroud also lets you get two charges and pull out your knife when you go into ether shroud and your knife becomes more powerful once you're in ether shroud so combine that with melee macchiato you're killing zombies into like infinitely the only issue with this strategy is if you really don't know how to run it it could be a little bit iffy and dodgy at times and the bug rounds also you're not always going to get to skip bug rounds. But even then, like, they just take forever. They're not hard. They just take forever. And because the jet gun is infinite ammo, you come over to a barrier and they only spawn out of two spots and you just sit there with a the jet gun. And you get to keep increasing your salvage gain because the spiders also drop salvage. And no matter how far away you kill them with the jet gun, because the jet gun brings stuff to you, you get salvage the entire round. And there's also so many side Easter eggs that also help you save salvage. For instance, the easter egg where you throw a grenade at the top and hit the helmet of the church, that starts raining down loot, points, salvage, upgrade tools, all that. You get to save 1500 salvage depending on the round if you get a blue upgraded tool. And also with the weapon rarities increasing throughout the round, it's super simple because all you need to do is just chill with the jet gun and wait for the Mustang and Sally's in the spawn room to become a legendary rarity. And that way you save, I don't know, how much salvage would that be? 9000 salvage? 9, 10, 
Claus and Salvage? Like, it, it, it is absurd. And then you have the Wonder Fizz. You don't have a perk limit, so you don't have to choose, you know, well, what do I run? Jug, Speed Cola, Quick Revive, Melee Macchiato? No, you can just buy every perk. And even with the point system being a little bit iffy in this game, this game that I'm showing right here, I pack-a-punched my Mustang and Sally's fully upgraded twice and was still able to have enough points that once that Mustang and Sally turned legendary in the spawn room, I was still able to upgrade it to a tier 3. So not only did I save 9, 10,000 salvage, it didn't even matter how many points I was getting because I was able to upgrade it on round 40. And because the early rounds are so simple, you can just get away with using the Mustang and Sally mainly. And because you're using the Mustang and Sally with a suppressor, again, more salvage. So I don't know what Treyarch is going to do or if they're going to do anything to kind of help patch or nerf high rounds because at the moment they are still broken. So I don't know if they're gonna make it so manglers and abominations don't drop kill streaks or like only abominations have a chance to drop kill streaks or if they're gonna nerf melee macchiato, they're gonna nerf augments. Like I don't know what they're going to do, but they have to figure out something because at this point high rounds are so easy. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not too bothered by that because it makes playing the game relatively fun when you need to grind out levels like let's say you just like let's say you just prestiged you're not gonna have anything unlocked so what do you do you permanently unlock a mangler injection you go on liberty falls you get the jet gun and you sit in a fucking corner and boom it, it I, like i don't know what they're going to do i don't know if there's really anything they can do because at this point, it's just going to become who has the most time on their hands and whose save and quit file doesn't get corrupted to get 999 first. And to put it in perspective, it's going to take about 200 to 210 hours to get to 999 of in-game time. And round 700 is basically the halfway point, which is insane. So yeah, once again, I don't know how Treyarch could nerf high rounds or if there's going to be another type of hardcore mode enabled in this because I know they said they were thinking about doing more modes more LTMs stuff like that within Black Ops 6 but as of right now the high rounds are super super easy and not only right now are the high rounds easy going forward high rounds could be even easier because on DLC 1 that we're getting in like a month and a half or whatever we're getting a new we're getting a new perk with six new augments three minor, three major. We're getting a new field upgrade with another six augments and we're getting a new ammo type with six augments. So that's 18 new augments for three separate things, which could even make the game easier. Let me know what you guys think they can do to essentially nerf high rounds or make them a little bit more challenging. Peace. Jackie and Rose.